In this video, I'm going to show you how to correct a crooked horizon in Darktable. Have you ever got an image, you're really happy with it, and you're just like, yeah, that would be great if it wasn't for that horizon being off. Ugh. Well, don't worry, that's a really easy fix um, it, using the crop and rotate tool. However, before correcting a tilted horizon, I would advise you to always use the lens correction tool just to correct for any lens distortion. So turn this tool on and you'll notice it didn't really do anything. That's because for some strange reason you gotta click on the lens, click here, click here, then it'll apply the change. Okay, so now we're gonna be making use of the crop and rotate tool. Uh, you may notice I have some guidelines on. I have it set to diagonal method, but there are a lot. You've got, you know, the grid thirds metering perspective you've you've got all kinds I prefer diagonal okay so if you want to get changing the horizon you can just click here where it says angle left click and it's adjusting it for you and it will automatically scale and crop you might notice this is very coarse if you'd like more fine grain control you can right click and then it'll give you this little feature here which gives you much much finer finer grain control of the angle. If you're looking for very precise things, after you've right clicked and this box is open, you can actually just go to the keyboard and type in numbers and enter and it'll give you very precise things as well. If you don't like where you've taken it, you can just double click anywhere on this angle line and it will restore it to the default. However, if you're correcting a horizon, you really don't need to worry about any of that stuff I just taught you. You just gotta right click on the horizon, hold it down, and drag and there you go uh, I sometimes like to confirm just by using the crop tool edge and just kinda bringing it in I think I might have gone a little too far on this one but um, yeah that's, that's what you do. just right click and make sure you don't let go and now you can just put some uh, noise reduction on that and export it and have a shot you're happy with export. Cool. Thanks for watching.